you can't just knock on somebody's door and say, hey, I'm ready for investment. You need to build those relationships. There are two ends to the spectrum. So there's somebody that just has an idea and there's somebody that has a strong viable business that's bringing in money left and right and has consistent sales, consistent customer base. It takes time to get to this stage. Uh, at the very front end, it's all about the story. It's all about the vision. You're selling uh, an idea. You're trying to bring people on board and uh, get in the, the wagon with you and, and charge up the hill. At the other end of the spectrum, it's all about the numbers. The numbers make the world go round. If the sales are high enough, the customer base is large enough, uh, the vision is large enough, you're going to attract a whole different type of segment of, of investors. The key is really identify what stage your company's at and who the right type of person is to attract. Here's the analogy that I like to give, right? When Hootsuite launched their business, they built a social media dashboard for brands and agencies. So Hootsuite did not attempt to market their product to senior citizens. And it's a very simple reason. It's called target marketing. 90% of entrepreneurs forget that learning when they decide to go get an investor. Why is it that you can target audience for, um, for customers, but you won't for investors. It, it's this interesting conflict that exists within an entrepreneur. And what I have historically found is that entrepreneurs who focus on ideal investors, strategic investors, raise more money at a higher valuation faster than entrepreneurs who will just talk to anybody. Where you want to start getting some, some outside help is going to angels. And angel investing these days, has become, it's almost become an asset class. There's a lot, there are lots of angel investors out there, groups of angels. They can be investing on their own or they can be investing um, along with a bunch of others. They may act in concert. If you're really capital efficient, which I encourage you to be by finding the sources of your sources of capital through your customers first, and then really having some of the angel funding to help you scale, help you grow the business, help you make that next milestone leap and turn, that's gonna drive the valuation of your business higher. For weekly tips, tools, and insights on what you can do to successfully start, scale, and grow your company, hit the subscribe button below.